Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to format your external hard drive, whichever you have, whether it's Seagate, Toshiba, Western Digital, it's all the same, they all come with pre-built programs inside, which you don't want because they get confusing, useless. So let's just format this the correct way so you guys can just drag and drop stuff onto it, and that's how it works. It can work just like a USB stick, where you copy and paste stuff to it, that's how an external hard drive works and um, that's how it should work. So we're also going to set up Time Machine, which is great. So it's going to back up your entire computer, including your apps, backgrounds, settings, everything for you. And um, we're going to do that in the next step. But first of all, let's just go over format so you guys can see what you're going to have to do. So going to disk utility. So for that, let's just look for it. So just click up here. OK, and then just type in on your spotlight search disk. And you guys should see disk utility right away. So this is my disk utility. Okay, so let's just open it up. It's right here. So first of all, let me just go over two things right here in, in this utility. So let me just leave this right here. Okay, there's internal and external. So don't touch anything that's internal. That's your internal hard drive. So you do not want to format it from here. And uh, yeah, you don't want to format it because that means erasing. Okay, so if you have an older external hard drive um, or USB stick, in this case, it's the same thing. Um, you don't want to format it because that's going to delete all your information from it, okay? So just make sure that you don't do this if you want to back up your information. So before doing this, if you have an older one, back it up, transfer all that information somewhere else, and then format it the correct way. Because I know a lot of times your external hard drives are just not working on your Mac, and that's because they're not the format's just wrong. So you have to format them from here. So um, here's my external hard drive. So you guys sh should see maybe just one thing. Right now I have several. But that's just because I have several connected. So I have a Western Digital one, I have a Toshiba one connected up. I'm going to format the Toshiba right now for, just to show you guys how to do it. Um, it's the same thing, again, for any brand. So I'm just going to click right there. If you have an older one, you guys might have to erase right here in the second option. Okay, your first partition, that's called partition. So you guys have to erase from there. So from there, you would have to go to erase, erase, and then journal or whatever. Um, if you guys have a brand new one, then choose the first option, okay, which is the name of your external hard drive, and then just go to erase. So, on erase, let's just go over your options. So, it's very important what you guys want to use it for. If it's only for your Mac, just do this. You know, it's the simplest one, works great, journaled. Again, only compatible for Mac. If you plug this into a PC, it will not read it. If you guys want uh, something that you can transfer files around from a PC to Mac, that's going to be most of you, um, choose XFAT. XFAT's the best one. It's 100% compatible with both Mac and PC. If you choose XFAT, you can just make the one partition, press erase, you're done. Okay, then you can rename it to whatever you want. Um, but if you do XFAT, uh, Time Machine doesn't work that way. great with that. So. Let's not do partition. Let's just not format it as XFAT right now. I'm gonna show you how to make this both um, work with your time machine plus uh, be able to transfer files between Mac and PC. So we're gonna partition this into two parts, but you guys will see what I'm talking about in a few seconds. So um, I just wanted to go over this XFAT. Some of you may have a Blu-ray player or something like that that you guys want to plug this into. Then you guys have to choose MS-DOS FAT, which is the worst one of all, but it's the one that's compatible with all those little things. So you might have to do this, but really bad format. Um, right now we're gonna do partitions and we're gonna set up your time machine. And yeah, so time machine is the best because it's gonna back up your entire computer. So you guys don't have to do it yourselves. And um, like I said, it's gonna back up photos, videos, any file that you have in your computer, plus all the stuff that you have installed in your settings. So backgrounds, everything. So we're gonna format it, first of all, as journaled, and then we're gonna make it both compatible with Mac and PC. So don't worry about that. So um, let's just press erase. So your external hard drive shouldn't take this long to erase. It should be a little bit faster than mine. Mine's an older one, it's a 500 gig. Um, even if you have one or two terabytes, it will be actually faster than this. Okay, it should take only a couple seconds. If it's taking longer, eh, you might guess have a bigger one or something. So let's just click on done. Once you're done that, you're done your first partition. So you could actually use it right now. And right now it's only compatible with your Mac. So let me just show you. 
So right here is my icon. So it's untitled. I can change the name just by pressing, you know, just by clicking on it. Then you press enter and I can type in a new name on it. But I'm not going to do it right now because we're not done. But I just want to show you this. So we are, we did format it. It has one partition, which is this one. So right now it's empty. So you can just drag and drop stuff into it. So I can just drag this and drop it right in there. And there we go. That's how you copy things. So this just works like a huge USB drive. And that's the way that an external hard drive should work. Simple, right? Nothing to it. So um, we could be done right now. But I want to show you guys, you know, take advantage of your external hard drive. Use Time Machine. Use other things. Make it both compatible with Mac and PC. So we're going to go into this. Um, let's just go into partition. So make sure I still have this clicked on the first one. And I want to partition. And right now it's only one partition. So 500 gigs. I want to add another one. So here's the plus sign. And I could make it 250, 250. I can type up here, down here I mean, any number that I want. So maybe I want, I don't know, uh, 150 gigs or something like that. Um, the reason I don't recommend typing stuff in here because mistakes do happen and uh, it's not 100% 500 gigs. It's always 498 gigs or something like that because there's a couple gigs that go in formatting or megabytes that go into formatting. So, so you guys don't have to do the math. You guys can just do this. See this little guy? You guys can just move it around until what you guys want. So I recommend using that. It's better, okay, because it will do the math for you, pretty much. So um, let's say I want to use, uh, let's put 120 gigs for Mac and PC, and then the rest for my time machine, or just for Mac, okay? So right now, if I click here on 380, I can see that it's journaled. And my 120, I want that to be XVAT. Okay, so XVAT again means PC. So that's gonna be my PC version. That's gonna be my Mac that I'm gonna make just for my time machine. You guys can make even another partition. So if you click on 380 again, you guys can make another one. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign and I can have this 190, 190. I can just move this around again. I'm gonna leave it right now as 190, 190. Um, that's because I want half of it just to be Time Machine, the other half to be just Mac. But for most of you, I know, you guys don't need that. So let's just take that away. So I just clicked on the minus sign, by the way. And then we just have two partitions. For most of you, that's the perfect thing. So you have some gigs just to transfer files around your Mac and PC. And then this big one just to back up your entire Mac with Time Machine. So um, again, I click here, it says XFAT. Right here, journal, click apply, and this will format. If you guys are getting any type of error, just format it again. Make sure that the numbers are okay. Like I said, if you typed in any numbers, you might get a mistake. But if you move around the little things right there, the little anchors, then you should be fine technically. So right now, everything went okay. Well, it's going okay. It's taking longer than I thought. Like I said, um, the reason I want to show you guys Time Machine because it's really, 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 really good. It will back up any files that you have on your Mac plus your programs. So if anything does happen to your Mac, let's say it crashes, stops working, you can always retrieve everything using Time Machine. And um, that's why it's so good. So if it ever crashes, you have to get a new hard drive. You're maybe changing Macs from an old one to a new one. You can use the Time Machine to transfer everything from one to another. And it's really, really easy. You have videos that show you how to do that. And you have no idea how extremely easy it is to do that. So right now, it's over. Let's just click on Done. And we're done. So here's our first partition. Here's our second one. So let me show you how that looks on your Mac. So right now, we have this one. And we have this little guy. So right now I'm going to rename them. And then from there we're going to take it and make it Time Machine. So how can you check which one's which? So just right click on it and get info. And right here you guys should see that the first one uh, should say something. As long as it reads it. <laughs> so this, this is probably XFAT because it's 120. We made 120 or XFAT. Right here it says Format XFAT. So if we zoom in on it, there we go, XFAT 120. So let's name this one, we can rename it right here. Let's name it PC. 
because we know it's compatible with both Mac and PC. Let's just close this up, switch in just the name, this one. We know that's for our time machine that we're going to use or only for Mac compatible. So to change the name, you don't have to right click on it. You can just click on it, press enter, and then type in whatever you guys want. So I want to type in time machine. There we go. Time machine. So the reason I typed in time machine is because actually, hold on, I have several time machines. So let's just make sure this one's time machine new. So I know which one I'm talking about. And you guys can name it whatever you guys want. You guys don't have to name what I put. But those are the names I typed in right now for these two partitions. So this partition, if I open it up, I can just, again, drop document right there. And there we go. My document's all backed up and it's in there. So I can transfer it to my PC. Um, for Time Machine, the same thing. I can just drag and drop right now anything here because I don't have it set up. So my next step is actually to make it work with Time Machine, okay? So right now I named it Time Machine, so I know what I'm talking about. And we're gonna go into System Preferences. So it's right up down here below. Usually, most of you will have it down here, System Preferences. Just click on it. I'm gonna wait for it to load up. It's right here. And all you guys will see this thing down here below that says Time Machine. Okay, so it's right beside Accessibility, Startup Disk, and Time Machine. So let's just click on there. I have several time machines, so that's why I named this one Time Machine New. So I have three set up. <laughs> so I have three backs up, backups of my computer. That's how obsessed I am with my information and not, not losing it. But um, I'm gonna add in another one. So maybe you guys have this empty, okay? It's okay. And uh, make sure it's, right now it's off. Just click on and then put add. And right here, you can see that I can even choose my PC and make that a time machine, but nah, they don't work that well. It's better if you format it as journaled. It's more compatible that way with uh, your Mac. So let's just choose that. You put in use disk and I should see right here. It says time machine new. So see right here, it's um, it hasn't been done a backup yet, but my icon should change pretty soon. So see how the icon is like this. So once you make your first backup, this will change from your yellow to something like this. Okay. If it doesn't, it's no big deal. It's, the Mac usually does that just for you to know. But um, for your first backup, just go right up here. Okay. So first of all, make sure you have a check mark right here. Once you have that check mark, you guys can go up here. And I think that's the best way to make your own backups and then just put backup now. So once you press on backup now, I'm not gonna do it right now because it takes forever. Um, it's gonna start, you guys will see a bar, a loading bar right here, and it's gonna format your external hard drive as a time machine. And that's your first backup and you're done. So that will back up your entire computer, like I said. And um, once you, you've done that, you can just load up any information, go back in time, and do a lot of things but I have another video that shows you more stuff on time machine I don't I don't want to go over that too much right now because I just want to show you guys the basics so and what you guys should have okay um, again XFAT for Mac and PC and then you guys may want to do journal to just make it compatible with uh, Mac and a way you guys can make a nice time machine backup from your computer anyways hopefully this helped you out Again, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.